Finale time. We are in the world of Remnant, and this is what you guys will be getting all this month over on our Patreon. But also, for those of you who are over on YouTube, hey. Hi. You got early access over on our Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. So let us let them know what, what they get on our Patreon. Um, lots of Ruby stuff. We Whoa. have, I think you did most of Ruby. Yes. Well, you finished it. Yes. Some of her old reactions are on there. And mm. then we we just finished season three. Mm -hmm. Um, and then besides Ruby stuff, we have a lot of anime, like literally thousands of hours. And, We're not lying. Yeah. Like literally thousands, thousands of hours. So if you like anime and live action stuff and Ruby, it's come all support there. us. Anyway, so today we're going to be starting with the first world of Revenant, and I believe it is Dust. Dust. Um, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to watch it, then we're going to discuss it. So then after that, then it'll be episode two. You guys get the... I don't even know why I'm explaining this to you, but you should understand. Whoosh. Anyway, so here we go. Dust. Lore-based videos. Let us go. I'm excited. Dust. By definition, it is a naturally occurring energy propellant that can be triggered by the aura of humans and faunas. Why is this so pretty to me? But in reality, it is much, much more. Found in four basic forms, dust can be combined both artificially and naturally to form new, stronger types, each with unique oh properties. So it's not just Since like its, its discovery, yeah. man has concocted a multitude of ways in which to harness the powers of these mysterious crystals. From airships to androids, dust has made its way into practically every facet of technology. Some prefer to use dust in its raw form. Elegant, yet destructive. Those who choose to wield <laughs> dust in this state must possess a certain level of discipline to ensure that their resulting powers do not break free from their control. Dust ammunition serves as a more practical application in today's modern society. With the technological advancements in weapon design, warriors need simply choose the right cartridge for the job and hold the trigger. While this has become the standard method of use, it is not uncommon to find individuals still practicing more archaic forms of dust manipulation. Such as weaving it into clothing, Beautiful. or even fusing it directly with their own bodies. Despite working, fighting, and even turning a profit with it, humanity has still yet to understand how dust came to be. And more importantly, how their involvement with dust will ultimately change the world of Remnant. There we go. Yeah. So, for overall with dust in general, um, personally speaking, it's kind of crazy how they even mentioned how people use it on themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of in a way like saying like you can use something that is could be used as a battery. Yeah. It can also be used as like, I don't know if someone want to make food out of it or power this or power that or... In a way, the way they were kind of showing it to is like how he injected himself with yeah, it. Yeah, that sounds really nice. That's creepy because it's like it's like a drug almost. Yeah. And then a lot of these people within the world of Remnant is kind of like we don't see much like within the world. You know, we yeah. see like what our characters are doing, like what what the, what the cast is doing, how are they doing, like yeah. what's, what's new. You know, how's Ruby? How's everyone doing? Like this is how they utilize dust. Okay, great. Right. But you have to think in the back of your mind, like what is everybody else using right. this for? You know, and it's it's creepy to me because. There's always, as we've seen, like with Roman and everybody else. <laughs> I miss him. I, I know. I miss him. <laughs> it's like to me, it's crazy to think that they can utilize this in such a way that, yes, can be a beneficial. Right, that's the thing. But can it's be like, turned into yeah. something else that can benefit the bad. I don't. Side. I don't know if they do this in the few seasons coming up, uh -huh. but that might be a like an issue coming yeah. up where someone uses this for something really that's the really, thing really, really is like bad. that's what the first plan yeah. that roman wanted right. was definitely with the dust and it's like knowing that when cinder was like oh we don't, yeah, need, we don't this need shit anymore. anymore like imagine feeling like you know roman in that moment because like yeah. think about like they were saying how they harness it how they harvest this type of stuff yeah it doesn't seem like it's easy no you know and it's like think about the world dependency like this is what the world kind of basically depends on uh, yeah, yeah now did you notice something about when they said make a profit i think that's uh what's her name Weiss. Weiss, yeah. Cool. It's yeah. the Schnee yeah. Dust Company, as you say. So think about that. Yeah. From what you know about yeah. her, because yeah. I mean, again, volume four, well, you'll learn a lot. But like from what you do know about her, it's like you could definitely tell how wealthy the family yeah. is. Yeah, because they were talking about the profit. The company so, yeah. and everything. So 
it's it's crazy to me also to know that lineage gets involved yeah. with this. As simple as a thing like dust. Like we we always say like when it comes to even like money, look what people do with money. It's like technology in, in too. Worlds. Like in our world, it's like yeah. tech where it's like you know you can and use oil it for and good. everything. Yeah. You could use it for good, but then it, if it gets in the wrong hands, it's, exactly. it's not. Yeah. Because like, think about like how like money works too. It's like yeah. people like how people will literally kill somebody. Do for anything. Money. And or, it's crazy because yeah. it's like such a man made thing, and yet look at our world yeah and the same thing is happening with dust it's like yes it may come like from different forms but this is what they're dependent on this right. stuff is like what their world their fuel, is yeah you know it could be used as batteries it could be used as like the fossil fuels like you said it could be used as almost anything for technology for money for this and that it's like it's all this profit too yeah. that goes into it so obviously the you know shni this company is yeah. going to be all like, we're going to take advantage of this, which I believe there is a world of remnant that is all about the like, dust company. Mm. So I think we can watch that. I'm just, I don't know. Will, what, Will said well, it's yeah. spoiler free. So, so also give big yes. shout out Thank to you, Will. Will. Um, he's an upcoming host here on All Ages of Geek and he actually does host a bunch of the Geek Inning podcasts. Yeah. Um, he's actually going to be doing a Ruby type of based podcast. podcast. So get ready for that because I'm excited because yes. we always go to Will. We he is like the, the Ruby encyclopedia. encyclopedia. Yeah, <laughs> like we've, I've been saying that for years, and it's like it's great to see like how far yeah. Will has come. And he's an amazing host. So if yeah. you haven't yet, check out his podcast because that is his like Ruby stuff is coming out soon. But for the Geek Game podcast, that's a really yeah. And if he's, you have he's if you have Ruby questions, like yes. he's in our Discord. He's Iron Crow. So yeah, exactly. Find him. So yeah, uh, but he's letting us know where to watch this and like also to know like how what, what order we should be going in. Um, because he provides. He knows. He knows he the stuff. He doesn't disappoint. <laughs> he knows the stuff. Anyway, guys, no, it's really important that, you know, we are doing this yeah. because, like, tacking in all this information, I could get a refresher. Um, personally speaking, I like the fact that they did these types of shorts. I love the animation yeah. for them. I think it adds so much more to the world. Um, and it gives you more of an insight of what Remnant is, you yeah. know? Like, it's not just, like, this world that they're in. It has it lore has, to yeah. it. Yeah. So I always love when shows or web series or anything like this add stuff like this because it's like it gives you the aspect of giving more of an open-ended type of series yeah. where you can create your own OCs within mm -hmm. it. So we'd love to know what you guys think about this. Um, and also, just to let you guys know, Early Access will be over on our Patreon. So we hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay weird, stay wonderful, stay awesome. Until next time, we just fan with my fan person every single day. Bye! Bye.